At St. Philip, the young adults meet once a week, and we've spent some time talking about some of the stranger stories in the Bible, some of the stories that we read and just are puzzled about. There's one in particular in Matthew and Mark where Jesus curses a fig tree. Now the strange thing about this story is that the fig tree is cursed by Jesus because it's not producing any fruit, but it's not the season for the fig trees. Now this text that I'm gonna preach on this week is not this story, but it's a text in Luke where Jesus again talks about a fig tree not producing fruit. In Luke 13, one through nine, Jesus tells a parable about a man finding a fig tree with no fruit on it. He's frustrated and he tells the gardener to cut it down. He says that this tree has been a waste of soil for three years now. Now the gardener, instead of cutting down the tree, asks for one more year to tend the tree by putting manure on it, by digging around it and tending the soil. This parable that Christ tells is paired with calling us to repentance. It includes Jesus saying, unless you repent, you will perish as they did. He's talking about stories where people have perished. So what does this all mean? Where is the forgiveness in this story that we know Christ is about? Why do we need repentance? Why should we give a fig about it? Join me this week and let's talk about repentance and being fed and tended as this soil around this tree was in Jesus' parable. As we go in this Lenten season, let's talk about repentance and being fed. I hope to see you there.